Roughly four grams of fiber per teaspoon in clay. Yeah. Twenty-two was when I first got diagnosed, where I went to the doctor, had the colonoscopy, and they said you had ulcerative colitis. This is what I looked like before I got sick. The disease takes over your body so much that you're not able to digest food anymore. I didn't know it was a chronic disease. I thought it might just be symptoms of overwork and stress. It wasn't until I hit about 24 that it started taking over my life. But right here, I'm about 135 pounds. To where I couldn't leave the house, to where I was losing massive weight, till I was really becoming chronically sick. I could hardly stand at that point. I was admitted into the hospital for roughly 30 days straight. Today is my fourth day in the emergency room. Sometimes you can feel like I'm the only one who has to deal with this. No one else is going through what I'm going through. The worst time for me is if I'm going to the movies or something with my friends and I have to leave, walk out of the movie four different times. You know, excuse me, sorry. If you're on a date. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Dating in IBD is a hard, you know, that's a hard tango. You know, um, one second, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Yep. Oh. I'm not going to live with this disease anymore. I'm tired of being sick. So I first heard about 23andMe, and it was pretty exciting stuff. Because research leads to optimism, leads to ideas. Saving grace, sauerkraut. I mean, just what we're doing with genetics and DNA, it's amazing. My pain and suffering and what I've had to live with can help the research community. It brings purpose to my pain and suffering. I'm excited for the research in genetics. I'm excited for where we can go with genetics. As they're diving into the most amazing part of being human, we're only just starting, skimming the surface of what's possible. Let's work together to understand this and try to prevent this so others don't have to suffer as we're suffering now. That's what I want. That's my dream.